Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to protect yourself from visiting fake websites. And this is very important, especially for sites such as your bank, where you're going to sign in with your bank card and password, and then the hacker may have your information because you got redirected to a fake site. Although you can see at the top here it says HTTPS, and that S on the end means that it's secure and you can see royalbank.com that part of this entire address up here is in bold so that way you know that that's the actual address that you're at which is another way of confirming that you're on the right site but what happens when you type in royalbank.com in the first place to try and get here let's have a look at a command prompt or PowerShell in this case if we do a ping for royalbank.com we can see that what happens is it resolves to an IP address and that happens because when you type in royalbank.com in your web browser it goes to a server called the DNS server which resolves that name to an IP address in that case the IP address comes back to you and then displays the website so you can log in but what happens is that's unencrypted information so it could be intercepted by a hacker and you get redirected to a bad site and then you're signing into the wrong website so we want to encrypt that information and I'm going to show you a way of doing that through your antivirus product now there's different antivirus products out there the one that I'm going to be using today is called Avast once we open up the Avast antivirus we're going to go up to the menu and under settings and depending on your antivirus product you may find something in the settings in there as well and it may be called uh, the same thing in in a similar location here it's under protection and then on this subcategory of titles we want real site here you'll see the real site is on this is off by default and you just want to turn that on and you can see here that it protects you with DNS hijacking so it's going to make sure that any man in the middle attack when you're doing a search for a website and it goes to the DNS server to get the IP address when it resolves and comes back to you so it displays on your web browser the man in the middle won't be able to see what's going on and that's especially with this turned on here for the DOH and that's the DNS over HTTPS and that just encrypts that information so any man in the middle can't see what's going on but just to know that it doesn't mean that it's fully end-to-end -end encrypted because the DNS server sees your IP address and knows who you are in order to send that back to you so unless you're using a VPN of some sort and encrypting and using a fake IP address then they know where you're coming from and what you're looking for otherwise at least no man in the middle attacks can happen in that case i've got tons of other videos that are helpful like this and you might want to check those out and if you found this one helpful please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now